Beyonce gives birth to twins with Jay-Z. The Carter household is officially a party of five. Beyonce has given birth to twins with Jay-Z in LA, multiple sources have confirmed to E! News. On Thursday, Jay-Z and Blue Ivy were together spotted at a Los Angeles-area hospital. The Grammy winner famously revealed that she was pregnant with two back in early February with an INSTagram post that nearly broke the internet, no, really. Queen Bey posted a photo of herself dressed in lingerie and surrounded by flowers and penned the following statement on behalf of her family. We would like to share our love and happiness. We have been blessed two times over. We are incredibly grateful that our family will be growing by two and we thank you for your well wishes. The Carters Shortly thereafter, Bay's mom Tina Knowles Lawson took to INSTagram to express her excitement over her future grandchildren. Wow I don't have the keep the secret anymore. I am so happy God is so good twin blessings. Yance has made no secret of the fact that she and Jay have not only relished in raising Blue Ivy Carter, but have wanted to grow their family for years now. In a recent interview with Elle, the songstress opened up about motherhood and how much it's impacted her life. I just want my child to be happy and healthy and have the opportunity to realize her dreams, she shared. But Bay noted that she's well aware that giving her daughter everything she needs to succeed in life may only be to her detriment. Everyone experiences pain, but sometimes you need to be uncomfortable to transform. Pain is not pretty, but I wasn't able to hold my daughter in my arms until I experienced the pain of childbirth. Beyonce gave birth to Blue Ivy on January 7, 2012 in New York City. The five-year-old is already getting ready to be a big sister to her two siblings as is evident in the series of photos her famous mama shared of her kissing Bay's belly. And now that the family have met the newest additions, it's time to congratulate them on their little bundles of joy. Us Weekly was the first to report this story.